Hello everyone and welcome. My name is Saiba Littles and in this tutorial, this tutorial is more ideal for someone who actually just got their Cricut and they're pulling it out the box and they want to know what they need to create first. One of the first things that I actually created when I opened up my Cricut was a name. So I want to show you guys how to do that and go over a few pointers. So when I discussed uh, Cricut Design Space, I always say this is column A, this is column B, which is the middle, and column C. And this right here is top bar two. Once you click text and you open up your text box here, it's going to activate top bar one. So let's get started. I'm going to use the name Jasmine for this tutorial. The name of this font is called Augusta Demo. It's a practice font that I use that I absolutely love because this right here I call my curlies. Now this is user preference. Some people will cut the name out like this, but in top bar two, the four function over, you have something called letter spacing. So with letter spacing, if you click the down arrow, you can actually control the letter spacing. And my personal preference is to make sure that these curlies, I call them, touch. So all of them touch except the A. So if you wanna move that over, what I will show you first is, if you click off it, it's going to bring this box. If you click this box, you're able to control your grid. So the grid that I like to work with, I like to work with that one, but for the tutorial, so we don't have as many lines, you can do that. So I say now, uh, the dilemma is, is I want this A a little closer to the S. And I also probably want to make the J a little bit bigger. So you click on it and you go to column three. You can do ungroup and it's going to break up all of these parts. Let me undo again. So now we just have one part, but if we click it and go to ungroup, it's going to break it up individually. And when you ungroup your lettering, see like so, I can do this like that. Well, not quite that big, but <laughs> I can make it a little bigger and bring it in a little closer. Okay, so now that I have this, it's two ways that we can actually put it back together. We can actually drag and click like that to select all. But for newbies, I always recommend you go to top bar and go to select all. And then go back to C column at the bottom and go to weld. Weld is permanent. Attach is temporary. Flatten is for print and cut projects, which we'll discuss in later tutorials if you haven't heard about that yet. So we're going to weld it all together and it's going to make it one again. So now I have my font how I would like it. So next, we're going to do another font. Let's go to text, and I'm going to show you. In top bar two, if you click font, it's going to bring up all of the fonts that Cricut Design Space has, as well as your fonts. But if you want to focus on your fonts that you have on your computer and the ones that you have downloaded, you can just click system here, and it will show you all of your fonts. What I do is I actually keep a notebook of some of my favorite go-to fonts, and I'll go through my notebook and see which font that I want to do. Um, maybe in later videos, I'll show you guys how to catalog your favorite fonts because I think that's really good for you to know. If you have fonts that you go to all the time, but you can't always remember their names, it's a great way to have it. So I go into search. One of the fonts that I know that I use a lot is one of the newest fonts that I've actually downloaded. It's called Elephant. And I'll also include a link to get this font in the description box as well. Okay, so I'm going to click on Elephant. And then I'm going to do Jasmine again. I think I'm not going to do all caps. Just do it lowercase like that. Okay, so you see how pretty that font is. I absolutely love it. It's very versatile. It gives like a, a feminine look. I guess you could probably use it for masculine. Let's see. Let's do um, Maurice and see how that looks. Yeah, you can definitely. It's, it can look masculine or feminine. You know, sometimes I kind of like my fonts <laughs> because I love fonts so much. I actually make them like feminine and masculine. <laughs> as funny as that sound, but um, I believe elephant looks good, masculine or feminine. So you can use it for either one. So with Jasmine, the spacing looks okay to me. Um, I don't think I need to actually edit it. We can try by going to top bar two and maybe bring it in together closely a little bit like so. Okay, and that will work. 
And so I don't have to ungroup in order to put them together. But let's see if we do ungroup. Nope, I was just checking to see if the, the period with a dot on the I will actually ungroup as well. But now that we have both of our names, we've all went over top bar two with the letter spacing. We connect our curlies. We also talked about the ungroup and the well feature. So that just gives you a little basic font information on how you can do a name. If we change the color of it, maybe I change it to red. I'm going to show you how you can go through the um, motions of actually cutting it. Okay, so now that I have my name, it's actually 10 inches. 10 inches is good if you're going to put on a t-shirt. You're going to put it on a t-shirt, um, maybe small to large. 10 inches is pretty good. If you want it to be bigger, you can actually do like, um, like an extra large to like a 2x. You can probably do that at 2 inches. And because I chose Jasmine in a different color, then it's on a separate mat. Now for your final projects, you can actually cut it as is. If you want to do a HTV project, which is a hot project, heat transfer vinyl, you just click on, on the mirror and you're gonna lay the, the shiny side down, dull side up. And that is how you will cut it, okay? So going back, we've already discussed quite a few features here. So this is the end of the tutorial. This is actually how you do a name. Also, if you're downloading fonts, a lot of people say, well, Taiva, I download my fonts and I do not see them. Um, where do they go? You have, when you actually download your fonts, you must be clicked out of Cricut. So you have to log out of Cricut and shut it down and then down all, download all of your fonts to your computer and then reopen it. And then you will actually see it in the font section of, we go to the system. Your fonts will be here. So make sure you actually logged out of Cricut while you're downloading your fonts and um, they will show up here. So that's it you guys. The next tutorial, I think what I'm going to teach you guys is how to actually catalog your favorite fonts so that you're able to remember which fonts are which. But thanks again for tuning in and I'll catch you guys in the next tutorial.